Alright, welcome everybody to my second Blender modeling tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to convert this cube over here into an airplane. Alright, first of all, let's tumble this to view so you can see that this is a cube. Alright, I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to split this into half, pressing Ctrl R. So when you go to Ctrl R, you will use the loop cut tool. Right, so I'm going to move the cursor to one of the edges so that it cuts across this axis and middle mouse click. Alright, then the next thing I want to do is I want to press Control Tab and go to face selection mode. Alright. I'm gonna press B and left mouse click, drag and border select these uh, one side of the cube, and I'm gonna press X and delete away the faces. So you're gonna end up with an object looking like this. I'm going to hit the tab key okay, to go back to object mode and I'm going to apply a mirror modifier so I'm going to add modifier mirror alright so this time we have half of a cube that is being mirrored so the advantage of this okay, I just press tab to go to uh, edit mode again if I right mouse click on one of the faces and I move it the other side will move as well because of the mirror so now I'm going to convert this into an airplane. So I'm going to use the Control R tool again, which is the loop cut tool again, Control R. Alright, so I'm going to add one loop uh, about here, so I'm middle mouse click once, or you can roll the mouse. I'm going to add maybe two cuts. Use the roller on your mouse to add two cuts here. Alright, so you end up with three divisions on this uh, object. So right now, I'm still in the face selection mode. Alright, so I can right mouse click to select one of the face. I'm going to extend this face a bit. Right, and I'm going to extend the tail portion. Okay, a bit here. Alright, I'm going to hit S to scale. Scale this down. You notice what happens when I scale it down. Alright, it is scaling on its own face center. So it's moving away from the center line of the mirror. So you can push this back until both edges meet. So if you want to avoid this kind of gap here, you're going to go out into the uh, object mode again and if you go under the modifier tab below okay you can just turn on do clipping okay so let's go back to the uh, edit mode again so if I move the face until they touch one another you notice it clips together and if I release it and move it out again you notice that now the gap doesn't appear so this is very helpful you want to maintain a closed seam right at the center. So by scaling down, I've created the tail section of my airplane so I can move this up a bit. Right now, okay, I want to move the center edge. Okay, this center edge, I want to move it to about here. So to select it, okay, right now I'm still in face selection mode. Let me press Ctrl Tab and go to edges mode. Alright, so I'm going to hit alternate key, hold on to alternate key, and right mouse click along this edge here and you notice that it has selected the entire loop so this is very very convenient so I'm going to click on this axis and drag it to about here alright so now I want to scale this down a bit make it a uh, smaller bit so just press Control tab to, to face hit scale right and press Control tab to go to edges Right, so I got a basic body of an airplane. Now, how do I pull out the wings? So we're going to add a number of uh, divisions here. So press Control R again to do the loop cut. So middle mouse click to cut one loop cut right at the center here. So I'm going to press Control Tab and go to Faces, and then right mouse click and select this face. And I'm going to use the E, press E to extrude. So I'm going to press E once, and this will be my wing. Right, so I'm gonna hit scale. I'm gonna limit to the Z axis. I'm gonna flatten it a bit. So I'm gonna pull this out to make the wing of the nap plane. Right, so I'm gonna press scale again by pressing S and uh, pressing Y to limit it to the Y axis. So to taper it down a bit, you can pull this back a bit. 
and then for the tail section, now our plane has wings, but it needs to have a uh, a stabilizer and a tail fin. So I'm gonna select these these two faces. All right, I'm gonna hit extrude. Instead of uh, individual faces, I'm gonna select region. So now we have extra detail and faces to pull out uh, stabilizer or fin. So let's do the stabilizer. Just right mouse click select one of the faces, press E to extrude, and then you have a stabilizer. So likewise, I'm gonna scale it down. Press S to scale, limit it to the Z axis. So I'm gonna scale it down. Okay, I'm gonna press S again to scale, but this time I'm gonna scale it in the Y axis. Right. Right. So now we got a nice stabilizer.